All right, what's up guys, Mitch Ordini, and today's video is going to be part 25 of the guide, I believe. So today's video is just going to be going over what to do next to get us prepared for basically the end of the guide. So a couple things I wanna make sure you're doing is Guild Wars. So we're gonna be covering Guild Wars in this, and we're also going to be covering a little bit of Labyrinth. We're gonna be getting into Labyrinth soon, and then I'm gonna show you all level three expedition teams on either the next video or the video after, and how to get those set up and good to go. So we're gonna have all PVE finished here pretty soon. You'll have your teams for that, or at least close to, and then um, your PVP is gonna be what you're mainly focusing on from that point forward. So if you look here, we are in gold RTA, so negative win rate, two losses back, but we did hit gold. So if any of you are wanting to see any of my RTA matches, and also with Guild War, I'm going to be uploading them to my second channel. I made a second YouTube channel, that way I can teach you guys more in-depth things versus the guide series. I can't really go super in-depth in the guide because there's so many different scenarios and different things that are going to show up over time. So I'm going to be uploading all of my Guild Wars and all of my RTA matches to that channel or close to all my RTA matches uh, to that channel. So uh, I already have a few videos up there. I'm trying to push to 1,000 subs. So if any of you guys are willing to go sub to it, that'd be awesome. But that is going to be the spot that you can go to to learn the game a lot better. So we are going to go ahead and go in and do one Guild War attack. If you want to see any of my characters, you can check out the last videos um, in terms of their builds. So with Guild Wars, the way Guild Wars is going to work, guys, if you guys need a guild, join the Discord that we have over 100 guilds there now. We're set making the system even better, like pretty much every day. We're adding little bits just to make it smoother and smoother. We need more guild leaders. That's one of the main bottlenecks right now. We need more people willing to put the time in to lead guilds. But the nice thing is if you lead a guild on our server, your guild's always going to be full. If someone's inactive, you can kick them and get a replacement instantly. We have hundreds of people looking for guilds a day in there. But with Guild Wars, you're going to have one hard Guild War and then usually one easy Guild War. Whenever you're in a hard Guild War like this, you just burn your attacks. Just go find someone if you don't think you can beat them. So we're just going to go into this and try to see if we can beat this team just for fun. Um, likely won't be able to, but the bottom team is looking like Spectre Snebria. And you can find, or in my videos going forward from here, you'll be able to get a better like grasp as to what I do in each of these. So... Um, the bottom team, these are all single target uh, characters. So with them all being single target characters, we are going to bring Spectre Seabury because they cannot target her. And then we're going to go ahead and bring Gala Lilius. I don't think she'll be great here, but you kind of, on Guild Wars like this, you kind of just get a feel for everything and see if you can come up with a way to beat them. If you can't, oh well, it's better to use your attack than to not use them at all is the best uh, way I could put it. So, <clears throat> and this bottom team, this Lionheart Sermi is pretty much just going to cook us just about no matter what we do. So I don't think the bottom t or the top team's really even winnable, but we're gonna go ahead and do this, this, and for the last pick, let's go ahead and take. Um, what do we want here? For the last pick, we can just go ahead and take maybe carrot. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Fire Mercedes is not gonna do a whole lot of damage. Um, if we have another character that can strip, so let's just say we bring Arrowell to the bottom and see if we can solo DPS with this. We just have to kill this in a decent amount of time. So let's just go in. And the thing is, even if you lose, at least you tried and you get the rewards for it. So I'll show the rewards after. So our Aiden did go first. Let's go ahead and just try to one-shot this. And a lot of the times, you'll find that you can beat teams, even though you're too scared to try, you'll find you can beat teams that you did not think you could beat before going into it. So <clears throat> he'll go ahead and rip here. And then he'll S2 my Cowric back, which is fine. We're going to save our Arrowell S3 to stun after rotation. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and S1 and pray we don't proc. We didn't proc, so it's good. She'll just S1 us here. So from this position, we'll S3. And we might actually win this. This has a decent chance. So now we're going to go ahead and S2 into her. Give ourselves barrier and try to start whittling her down the best we can. Just S1. So we're pretty much just praying we don't dual attack in a lot of situations. So from right here, we can go ahead. I'm gonna just going to stun because we might be able to kill before it's time to... Uh, uh, what's it called? So let's just stun her because she does have her S3 and we don't want her to proc the counter on Aiden right there. So now we're just going to S1. And see if we can kill here. Ooh, we did. Okay, so nice. We ended up winning one match. I didn't think we'd win any of these. So that's pretty awesome. So a lot of it is just going to come down to learning which characters to take, obviously, um, what skills to click, and you're just going to have to do that through practice. You're just going to have to go into matches, and by watching other people do it, it's going to help you come up with team comps. And I'm also going to go over Guild War defense as well. I'm only doing one attack for this video, so just bear with me through it. 
But after after this, I'll show like three easy teams you can do for defense if you've been following the guide, and they'll get you some wins here and there. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and lock down this. If we can kill this, we're chilling. So we're going to go ahead and lock down this. Uh, we got it. So now I'm just going to S1 into it. There's no really reason S3. This should have health there, proccing her, pushing forward. And we're going to take an S3 from Renet Violet. We're hoping this doesn't kill us. If this kills us, we might be in trouble because she breaks Provoke. All right, we survived and she goes. We pray she doesn't Dust Devil. She might kill us here, though. She didn't Dust Devil. Okay, so that's good. So now we can S3 her and try to stun. She did heal a little bit. But ML Celine is a character that she can only take so much damage per um, time she attacks. So we are going to lose our Violet here, but that is fine. So now Galilius can go ahead and kill this. And then this is going to do a little bit. We get blinded, which sucks. So our only win con now is to hit, but we have Soul Burn. So let's just see how much damage we can do. Let's hope we hit at least one of them on one of these two attacks. And we hit both, and we won. Nice. <laughs> so that is just an RNG match. We just went in, hoped for the best, and it worked out. But as you see right here, like our guild is getting obliterated. But just by kind of knowing matchups, you can go in and win against guilds that are way, way stronger and teams that are way, way stronger than you. So two easy Guild War defenses that you can do. You can just do a mix of these kind of characters. So hopefully you have most of the characters shown. You are going to go ahead. Shu is going to be a fantastic character put on your defense. Falconer, Clurry is a new player. If you are following my guide and having her similar to mine, she has already gotten me a bunch of wins because people don't expect her to be so fast. So new players go into it. They're like, oh, it's a Falconer, Clurry, and then outspeeds them and you just win. So Shu, Falconer, Clary, Lionheart, Sermia, you guys probably shouldn't have. Meteor, Coward can go good if you pair it with Senya, so that could be a team. Mercedes is great to have on your defense. Um, Galilius isn't too, too good. Savior Aiden and Senya are your best options. Airwell isn't bad either. So doing um, a combination of any of those three, so just let's just make one team real quick. Savior Aiden, Senya plus Meteor, Coward. There's one team. Second team, you can do Fire Mercedes um do fire mercedes mixed with shoe so fire mercedes shoe and falconer clary so you have one of each element so that's two different teams you could do right there and you're going to end up getting some wins especially against new players and you're adding rng so one thing with guild wars the best guild wars you can teams you can make are ones that have a lot of rng and just chance to pop off people have ways to beat every team so your best bet is to just try to have it to where if they try or have a certain way, they can get screwed over if they get 15% of it or something, and your team can just win from there. So those are just a couple easy teams you can do. If you ever have questions on teams, just look at other people's teams, and you can copy them, and that is uh, pretty fine and easy. So again, all my Guild Wars from today forward will be on the second channel, though, if you want to watch and see how I use my characters, and maybe uh, you'll pick up quite a bit from doing that. Those will all be there because I can't upload 20 characters to my... Oh, got a smoke alarm going off. Um, I can't upload 20 characters to my or 20 videos to my channel every single day. So now the next thing you should be working on is Labyrinth. With Labyrinth, you are going to hopefully have cleared all the way up to Malchus of Consciousness, cleared Nixie Sanctum, and once you have cleared all of this, you should be ready to go into um, the Royal Capital. So with the Royal Capital, the teams or the bosses you need to beat, just go and beat each boss once. Once you go into this, I'm going to go through and beat them today. This is a team that can work to beat basically all of them. Um, if you want to, you can switch out Tamarin for the front. This is a really solid team just to beat uh, every boss. If you want a super min-max, you can go for a higher morale team. That's up to you. But this is a pretty simple team that you can do. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and do this team. The only team that this will not beat in terms of the first one is going to be the bottom right team. So let me go in and just show you real quick. We are we already beat the left boss. The left boss is really easy to beat. You can beat it with this team. It'll work just fine. This bottom right uh, boss, it is a grass boss. So you may want to switch out shoe for, say, fire Mercedes, and it'll beat it just fine. You can even use Aiden if you're to the point with Aiden, which hopefully you are. Next up, this boss is going to be the hardest boss. Um, you don't want to pick Spectre Tibre. You don't want to pick um, anything that debuffs, basically. But you want to pick Tamarin plus Meteor Kaurik, and then two characters that don't debuff. It is a light Thing, so you can bring shoe for this so those three characters basically alone beat it just your fourth character make sure it doesn't debuff and you're chilling so just don't use hand guy s2 here and you'll be fine 
So this is a the most annoying of them all. And then queen is very easy. You can just use the same team for queen. Um, if you need guides for that specifically, let me know down in the comments, but you'll just come in and beat each of these bosses once. The only thing with the fire boss you need to make sure is if you do have a debuff on you, you attack a front unit. And then if you uh, don't have any debuffs, you attack the boss. So just go ahead and go through and beat all these. I'm going to beat them all today or today and tomorrow. I'm going to buy the lab token entries to beat all this. And once you beat all this, we are going to then start cooking up our Hell Raid team. So there is Hell Raid. Once you beat the queen here, it unlocks the ability to go into Hell Raid, which is this. So once we get in here, there's a Hell Raid version and a Nightmare Raid version. Nightmare Raid, we're not going to worry about for another month. But Hell Raid, we want to clear as many bosses as we can each month of that to get the... Um, you get currency. This is a once a month clearing thing for the Hell Raid and uh, Nightmare Raid. And if you clear a Nightmare Raid boss, you get three of the currency. If you clear a Hell Raid version, you get two. So we're going to get a little bit less currency, but I'll tell you guys right now, the Nightmare of Hell or Nightmare Raid is not something you want to get into until you're really, really ready for it. So we're going to clear all of Hell Raid. It's going to be easy, but then Nightmare Raid, I'm going to show you guys what you can start building up to. We'll take out a few Nightmare Raid bosses early, but... Not all of them. It will slowly, slowly show you guys teams for that. But I'll at least give you what to work toward to be able to beat it. So that's all I have for this video. This was a quick, just uh, basically update. Show you guys, do your Guild Wars. Even if you're going to lose, just go in and do them. And if you guys need help learning either RTA or um, your Guild War attacks or anything else, any video suggestion you guys have, I'm willing to accept them. I made a video thing in Discord. If any of you guys aren't in the Discord yet, you can put whatever video you want me to make and I will probably end up making that video for the second channel. So feel free to join into there. If you have any other questions, let me know, but we're getting close to the end of the guide. There's not a whole lot else to show. In terms of Expo level three teams, I'll be showing all those, like I said, probably in the next video or two videos from now. But from here, that's it. We're close. Your guys' accounts should be looking very good. Um, I'm sure there's some stuff that you guys want me to cover. I know you want more Abyss videos. I will be doing that today as well before I go to sleep tonight. I'm gonna to clear at least five. And then other than that, hopefully there's nothing else you're struggling on. Everything else is pretty straightforward. There's going to be specific guides for specific things if you want to go find them. So like Tristan Wolf is a great resource for Hall of Trials, I believe. Um, so there's definitely guides out there for everything else. But my biggest goal with this guide series was to get your accounts established. And if you follow it up to this point, you should be very close to having your account completely, completely chilling. So I'll go through the characters real quick so you guys can see them. But once you once you get to this point, you kind of just are coasting. You just do a little bit each day and go from there. So uh, if you want to see Midnight Galilius games, there's quite a few of them on the extra YouTube. She's an okay character. She's better for Guild Wars and Arena. But uh, she can be used as a late pick in RTA pretty effectively. Um, so here's the Destina. Put, bought the Arena gear for her. Sharoon turned out okay. She's usable. Lionheart Sermi, I'm not using this character until I hit Masters RTA, just because I don't want to hear the Epic 7 official Discord complain about that I only got RTA, Masters RTA, because I got this. So, <clears throat> Arrowell is a work in progress. My Light Corinne got to 262, not bad. 230 for the Aiden. You can go way slower on her. But yeah, your account should look about like this. You'll have like 10, 10 or so characters geared for PvP, and you'll have your PvE characters down here. We are going to end up putting gear back on some of these to clear our Hell Raid and Expo teams. But other than that, that's that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Again, questions, comment down below or put them in Discord. And I will see you all in the next part of the guide. Peace out.